Hello everyone, welcome to the CSN at 2020 mathematics question. Today we will see how you can solve the LPP based questions. So how you can solve these LPP questions within some shortcut tricks, let's see in this video. So firstly we will see how what are those questions are there. So the first question is you have to find the minimum value of this function subjected to this constraint. Second is again you have to find the minimum and max value again these constraints. And the third one is you have to find the optimal value by here. So you can see all are of the November 2020 CSNet examinations are. Now how you can solve these problems? One way is that you can draw the graph of these constraints. Otherwise you can look about this function. What is that? When it will be the minimum? When x is my minimum and since it is a negative sign, so y will be the maximum. That's the only way you can get the uh, uh, minimum answer of this function. So about this domain, what is the minimum value of the x? That's a 0. What is the maximum value of the y is my 5. That is x is my 0, y is my 5 is the optimal answer. So that's a 0 minus 25 plus 10 is a minus of 15 is the right answer. Otherwise, if you want to draw the graph of this, so this is a line x is 0, this is a line y is 0, this is a line x is equal to 10 and this is a line y is equal to 5. So which one is the common portion is, this one is the common portion about that. Now you can find the coordinates. This is my 0, 0,5, this is my 5,5, this is my, sorry, uh, 10, 5, this is my 5, 10, 0 and this is my 0, 0. Now you can find the value of the z at here. What is the value of the z at here is plus of 10. What is the value of the z at here is, this is a 40 plus 1 is a 50. What is the value of the z at here is, so it's a 10 comma 5, so it's a 40 minus 25 plus of 10, that's a 50 minus 25 is plus 25. So what is that, this is 0 minus 25 minus of 50. Again you can see the minimum value is my minus 50. But there is no need to draw like this way, simply you can take about like here. Look at the another example is there. Again you have to find the maximum and the minimum value of this subjected to these constraints. So when it will be the maximum? The maximum is when x is a maximum and y is maximum. And since both are positive, so both should be the maximum. But since y coordinate is more, so I can firstly preference more on the y. What is the maximum value of the y from here? y is maximum value is 1. So it means, uh, what is the meaning of that? Both, can't, would, both can, can't be a 1 at the same time because sum is 1. So other value will be 0. So what is that? The maximum value of this is my 0 plus 7 of 1 is a 7. So the first two options are cancel out. How you find the minimum value? It means x is minimum, y is minimum. Again, since it is a, a y has a more of the positive sign, that's a 7 is more. So we can give a preference on the y. What is the minimum value of the y from here? That's a minus 1. So it means what is the answer of the 7 and minus 7 is the right answer. Again, if you want to draw the graph of this, what is that? What is, uh, what is the meaning of these coordinates? Either these are the lines, these are the possibilities. Either x is post, both are positive or both are negative. Or uh, all of you know that mode of x, this is the first line. Uh, x plus y is 1, this is a line, this is a line and here, these are the graph of this. So what is the coordinate of this? This is a 1, 0, this is a 0, 1, this is minus 1, 0 and this is 0, minus 1. So if you find the value of the z at here, this is a plus 7, this is plus 5, this is minus 7, this is minus 5. Again you can see the maximum value is my plus 7, minimum is minus 7 again by the same trick. So you can use any one of them, either you can use here or by here. Look at the last example are here. Now here there are the more than one constraints are there. So what you can do is you can simply draw the graph. But before drawing the graph, you can see how you can take the maximum of this. It means x should be the maximum and y should be the maximum. And since coordinate of the y is more than of the y, coefficient of the y is more than, so we can give preference on the y. So what is the maximum value of the x you can obtain from here? So from here you can get the maximum is 7. From here you can get as a 9, from here you can get as a 6. It means the one line is a 9 is preferable. Similarly, if you get the maximum value of the y, so what is that? This is 14 by 3, it's a 4 point something, it's a 4.5 and from here is 6. So since we need a maximum value of y, so it means there. So I 
need uh, these two coordinates are there so 9 is corresponding to this value and 6 is corresponding to this value i can solve these values we will get the required answer so after solving this we can get y as of 3 and x as of 3 you can substitute this value in here you will get the right answer that is a 12 plus 15 is that 27 if you want to draw the graph so look at that x plus y is 6 is my here this is my 4.5 uh, 9 and this is my 4.5 this is my 9 and this is my 4.5 and this is my 7 this is my 7 and this point is my 3 comma 3 and this is 7 and this is my 4 point something so it lies outside of this so we can get these coordinates so what is the coordinate of this is 0 0 other coordinate is my 0 4.5 3 comma 3 and 6 comma 0 so I want a maximum to be y so these coordinates are not maximum or if you want to calculate the z it's a 0 from here it's a 5 into 4.5 so which is the fraction part which is not be there so it will be my 27 it will be my 24 again you can see the maximum value is my 27 at 3 comma 3 so these are the way you can solve these problems in a simple shortcut tricks are also we will see some more questions on this uh, csr net mathematics in our next videos till then you can simply follow this share this video with your friends thank you very much